This is Pastor Rodney. This morning I want to talk to you about expectation. Expectation. You know, sometimes I think that the difference between how you live each and every day is based upon your expectation. You know, the Word of God tells us specifically that it says, My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from Him. You know, we live today, it's like so many different things that are going on, so many different things to be concerned about, so many different stresses and duresses of life that may weigh very heavy on our hearts. Sometimes we don't know what to do next. When we look at all of the challenges that are facing even this country right now, it seems to think, what in the world is going on? And then when you see everything that's happening in politics and what's happening in our cities and our states, it is enough to make you say, God, I want to get out of here. But I want to encourage you, people of God, have expectation in God because our Father is still on the throne. In fact, the word of the Lord says, the eyes of all who look expectantly to you, you give them food in due season. See, because God says that he will never leave you or forsake you, but he'll be with you always. He even tells us that he will sustain us in the time of famine. So it doesn't matter the season or the time, the days and what each day presents. If our expectation is in him, then we'll make it through every challenge. Now, what is expectation? Expectation really means to hold hope. And the word of God says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence of things not seen. So it's when you have that hope, that that reason of hope within you, it causes for you, even in the darkest days, to still smile. Because if God be for me, who can be against me? Yes, my friends, we live in dark times, but let us not forget that he is our light. He said that he will be a lamp or a light in the wilderness. In the darkest nights, God will give you illumination. Why? Because your expectation is not in the times, but your expectation is in him. Solomon said that all of life and everything that is is contained therein is vanity. He says at the conclusion of the matter, he says, he says, this is man's whole duty to reverence God and to keep his commandments. See, because when we trust in him, we will never be ashamed. It is important to know that God will never fail. He says, my word shall not return to me void, but it's going to accomplish everything that I have determined. And so today, my expectation is in him. Today, your expectation, your hope should be in God and in God alone. For truly, he will never fail us. But he is God yesterday today and forevermore. John the Revelator heard Christ say, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, he who was and is and is to come, the Almighty. So today, we do not look to a figment of our imagination 
We do not look to a trinket or an idol that we have constructed and carved with our hands, but we look to the creator of the universe, the one who spoke and it was. He is your father. So let us cast our cares upon him today, for he cares for us. We pause, we reflect, and we emerge to life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Our expectation is in you.